It's the cicada time again. They, they're doing the thing of coming out, and they do it here and there and there, and they pump out. And the cicada has the longest lifespan of any insect, but it's a weird sort of lifespan because it's only above ground for about two weeks, and the rest of the time it's underground for 13 or 15 years, and there's wonderful names like in Australia, the black prince, the green grocer, and you can get their little husks, and I had some when I was a kid. So we're expecting another emergence. We've heard about this happening, for instance, in the US. What yeah. is it that comes into play that causes cicadas to come out at these particular times, like, say, a 17-year gap? Uh, well, basically, all of evolutionary biology, big bunch of words, can be summed into three words, food, sex and death. And this ties all of them together really well. So you, where we start off, we'll start with the cicada eggs on the tree, and they go up, fall down to the ground. The little hatchlings come out after four to six weeks, and they burrow underground, and they go down somewhere between half a metre to about you know this deep underground, and they find a wet sap of a tree, a, a tree rootlet, and they got these specialised sucking mouth parts, and they go, and they go straight into it, and mate, they're there for the next thirteen to 17 years, and then when the time is right and when the signal is right and we don't know what that signal is, they come to the surface and then they make these noises and they find each other and then they, they begin to love each other very much in a special way and they've got a very short lifespan of only about two weeks or, or four weeks and then they, the, the female then finds a nice soft tree branch and she slits it and then shoves the eggs in there, hundreds and hundreds of eggs um, and then you, you can have in a typical cicada plague, more eggs laid than there are stars in the Milky Way. It's a huge number. In a typical cicada plague, there can be over one and a half thousand cicadas for each person on Earth. In a typical cicada plague, you can have 20 million tonnes of cicada flesh just suddenly appearing from underground, which is sort of ballpark figure the weight of all the Americans put together. And then so then they, they put the eggs into the tree and then um, the cicadas die and then the eggs fall down the ground and so we've done a cycle. Are all cicadas like this, though? Do all of them have this prolonged period where they'd be underground before uh, they emerge? OK. There's uh, about 1,500 species of cicadas, maybe more. We haven't mapped them all. And the majority are not like this. And a smaller number are the so-called periodical cicadas, which seem to come out on prime number years. There's some that come out on seven years, but the really popular ones are the 13 years coming out and the 17 years coming out. Why do we think there's a prime number connection there? Um, well, one is, remember how I said food, sex and death? One of them is the food. So if you've got the ones coming out on the 17 years and then the ones coming out on the 13 years, well, they'll only both come out at the same time every 17 by 13, which is 221 years. And, and then you'll have a problem. But if they were all to come out every two or four years, they'd all be competing for the same food source. So that's one theory, and that's almost certainly true. And another theory, which is almost certainly true as well, is that they're keeping away from the predators, the periodical predators. And if you had a periodical predator that had come around every two years, and suppose you've got a cicada that comes out every 12 years, well, every time the cicada comes out and just get attacked by these guys. But if they mutate or evolve, so they, they come out only on a prime number year, then they're more likely to avoid the periodic predators that come out to get them. So is there any kind of chance that these cicadas are actually mathematical geniuses as well? Yeah, yeah, they are a prime number generator. Now, prime numbers are wonderful things. Like way back in Euclid, 2,500 years ago, 2,300 years ago, he proved that there was an infinite number of prime numbers. By the way, a prime number can only be, be divided by itself in one. So seven is a prime number, six is not because it's two by three. And it's really big business trying to invent and find these prime numbers. Like just this year, in 2013, we discovered the biggest prime number ever which is 2 to the 55 million or something minus 1 is a, is a prime number. And then this can be used for credit card security. So, you know, it's part of the thing. And so the prime numbers, uh, where was I heading with this one? Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the cicadas, cicadas can yes. find it. Because the thing is that the cicadas are a way of finding prime numbers because the cicadas come out on prime number years. And there might be some cicadas that are coming out in 31 years. Uh, which is a prime number. So it's a really bad joke that they could, in fact, be a prime number generator because we've got machines to try and do that and people to try and do that. Well, I never knew. Now, tell us also, of course, we always associate cicadas with the sound of summer, but what are they telling us? What are they talking about? Um, once again, food, sex and death. <laughs> and they, they can be really loud. They can be louder than a thrash metal concert with you standing right next to the speakers. They can be as loud 
as a four-engine jet plane taking off on full power 100 metres away, 120 dB. That is dangerously, dangerously loud. And what they've got is on their abdomen some plates that are circular. And remember Rolf Harris and the wobble board? Yes. They're wobble boards. And then just to make it even louder, on the other side of the wobble board, they've got a hollow empty sack which comes out through an opening via the trachea into the air. So they've got a, a natural resonator. And they have a sound that says, it's called the disturbance squawk, like somebody has picked me up or captured me, ah, go away. Or another one, this the, the congregation one, which is, hey, I've come up above ground. Where are the rest of you guys? Come on, join me. So everybody comes above ground at the same time. And there's the, finally the one of... Hey, ladies. And the ladies, they, they don't have the big sort of plate that does a wobble board thing. They've just got the wings and they say, click, 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 click. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Dr. Carr, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Miriam.